high resolution monometry is a test which essentially measures uh, the function of the nerves and the muscles in the esophagus. So it involves putting a little tube down the nose for about half an hour. And what we will then ask patients to do is to do some swallowing, uh, some swallowing with, with liquids and then some swallowing with solids. It will tell us the strength of the valves at the top and the bottom of the esophagus. It can sometimes tell us if there's a hiatus hernia uh, and it will tell us um, what the pressures are. So it will enable us to see how well the esophagus functions, how well the muscles uh, work from the top to the bottom, how well people swallow effectively. It's important in a number of respects. Firstly, if we're then going to go on and perform an impedance reflux study, we know, need to know exactly where the valve is at the bottom of the esophagus so that we can place uh, the catheter, which is going to measure the reflux, in the right place. It's no good if the, uh, if the catheter is in the stomach because that will just measure acid all the time. So it's got to be situated above the valve in the at the right place so that we can actually assess the reflux accurately. The second thing that manometry will do is it will exclude a major motility disorder. There are some specific abnormalities of function of the nerves and muscles in the esophagus which can sometimes cause symptoms similar to those caused by reflux. And we clearly need to identify those so that we can end up doing the right treatment. And then thirdly, we will want to make sure that the esophagus is working normally because that can sometimes inform us as to what the right uh, anti-reflux operation, if people are thinking about surgery, um, is going to be. Some people who have uh, long-standing reflux will have poor motility and for them, therefore, one operation rather than another may be more appropriate. So all of these tests add together to give us an overall picture uh, of the function of the esophagus.